everyone, welcome to the first day Fun Bridge Points tournament. 250 players registered at this moment, but we still have more than eight hours left till the end of the tournament. So 200 on the rank. Let's go and start with board one. And we start with a huge hand, 21 high card points, but balanced. So we want to count our primary honors ace or three aces two kings that's five queen and jack of clubs connected to those top cards so that's five plus two two secondary values and we have a five card so five plus two is actually should be upgraded because standard two no trumps is five plus one four plus two depending on the jacks but the distribution is key and although we are balanced, the distribution can differ. For example, here we have both three cards majors. That means that if partner has a five card and transfers after our strong two no, then uh, we can accept and partner can slam try. We have a doubleton which will cover partner's loser by roughing from the short side. And we have potentially six quick tricks, six quick honors. So if you count partner losers, I mean, already opposite a garbage hand uh, with some entries with roughs uh, we can make a game so this is what the primary and secondary values will tell you and always try to figure out the majors uh, for example if you switch hearts and diamonds the hand will be a bit different because suddenly our hand will not be good uh, for four hearts contract now all three games three no for free no because of five card clubs, uh, four hearts, four spades because of a free card and a doubleton. So I'm going to upgrade my hand and bid it like 22, 23. Two spades on our right. Well, now I have six honor tricks. They are vulnerable, we are not. Burn can have an honor trick. So I would love to double here. Because I think it's definitely going down. We don't know much about partner. Three no trumps, we have two stoppers, but we still need some. I mean, I don't even need entries. I can play three rounds of hearts and wait, or escape with the club and wait for the diamond. I can get the spade. So I'm going to double here. And I hope that partner goes with it. He doesn't. Yeah, well, playing free no non-vulnerable when we could play two spades doubled. There must be a reason. Okay, the reason is a reason. Okay, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I'm going to play the diamonds. And if they duck the first round, see, they duck the first round. Now I have to change my plan. Because if I continue diamonds, Opponents will establish the spade suit and suddenly uh, I will lose the control and I don't have my tricks. But if you do the math, we have two tricks so far. Queen of spades is three, two hearts is five, four tricks is enough and I can get four tricks uh, with clubs. So let's give them the club voluntarily because we have still communication Oh, but 5-1. Five, 5-1 one. Five, one changes the plan. So now I cannot get four club tricks. Okay, so... Suddenly we have something to play for. Mm -hmm. Okay, it starts to be interesting. So East probably has seven spades because it's pretty strange that West didn't lead a second round of spades so seven spades singleton club um, I should have looked in the diamonds but just my feelings were that they were playing small cards but who has three and who has two? Not clear. I can obviously end play West. 
definitely ducking this one. And I can unplay West with clubs. And he has to play the hearts for me. And then I need to guess the hearts. So that's that's my plan. Oh, he's got the diamonds as well. Okay, so now Ease has all the hearts. Let's do the math. Okay, Ease has singleton diamond, singleton club, seven spades. That means four hearts in East hand. Suddenly I'm quite happy that we didn't double, although we should score three hearts. So I think I'm going to end play West to give me the diamond trick. Because I can give away the hard. Like really give away. East will play the spade and I end play West and he gives me the diamond trick. Let's keep the seven. Seven spades, four hearts, singleton, singleton. I don't want to make a mistake in, vol in um, imps on board one. So I think, but I think this is bullet bulletproof because on the queen of spades he discards one diamond, but otherwise it's fine. And I can even try to steal with the jack. Okay, that didn't work out, but now spades back. Confirm the seven card suit. Cashing the hearts. And waiting for the diamond trick. They have the eight, so I have to I have to discard the seven unfortunately. I think they have the eight. Yeah. Okay, well this was a difficult board. But made a game, I think this will be a big swing. Not an easy one. Six imps, that's kind of a big swing, uh, since this is a non-vulnerable game. Everybody reached three no trumps, and you see based on the graph here, some players made 11 or 10 tricks. That's because you just play the second round of diamonds, and uh, West doesn't have another spade. So actually you have the club entry and you score all the diamonds. So from open cards, this is pretty easy. Uh, but from close cards, uh, this is a very tough game. Okay, good start. 11 count, but right hand opponent opens. Pardon is weak. We don't have an ace uh, yet. Uh, distribution perfect for a takeout double because we don't mind any other suit as trumps. So let's hope partner picks hearts or nothing. And I just made my bed and that's it. Okay, well, two no trumps is kind of the best outcome. If partner leads clubs and he has a queen or some. Okay, 10 is good. Can that be from 10 ace? Okay, uh, let's do the math. 13 count in the dummy. West invited, that's like 10, 11, maximum of the past hand. So that's 24. I've got 11, that's 35. So partner has maximum five high card points. Would that be ace of clubs? I doubt it. I kind of need the queen of diamonds. I have the spade entry. So I don't want to overtake, although I have ace, eight and a six. I'm going to duck and now it's confirmed that West has ace queen in clubs, ace of spades, that's 10 count. Yeah, I think I have to put the honor. Okay. partner and drop the nine who's got the ace of spades that's actually a tricky question 
because maybe West has only Ace Queen in clubs. He could duck with the Ace of Spades, but he could have only Ace Queen and King of Hearts. But then he could cross with the Heart. So I'm not like quite sure if I want to continue clubs here. But I don't have any any better reason. Okay, partner dropped the nine, so that's good. Yeah, but what now? I think partner has the king of hearts. Hopefully the jack of spades, so I cannot dump the spade. Play the hard. Okay, or a spade. Now let's hope Orton has the jack. The spade is so strange. Partner probably didn't do the math that he saw already 10 high card points, so I must have the Queen of Hearts. Otherwise, East will open. But now, partner should have two tricks. Jack, maybe even the top diamond. Not claiming, though. Yeah, well, the spade was bad. Oh, wait. Ah, I didn't notice the club. Why pardon discarded the hard? <laughs> to keep the top diamond. I didn't notice what was discarded on this third on the diamond. I thought it was a hard. But pardon discarded the hard, so maybe he did the math. Okay, luckily it's just an overtrake. Otherwise, I'll be si sitting here for longer. But why? Okay. I don't know. I really don't know, guys. Yeah, I, s I fucked up. But, I mean, how can you discard the King of Hearts? and keep the diamond to to put me on the pressure okay I lost an imp because I really didn't notice which one he discarded um, okay I really lost an imp they were only in 2 no they can always make 3 no or 4 in a major it's quite tricky but thank you partner for your help it's always appreciated uh, when you help your partner to make an easy decision, not to waste your energy, when you know that you have the top card. I mean, did he know that I have the Queen of Hearts? Why did he get the diamond? Uh, okay, never mind. We play with the robot, so we have the challenge. It's only 10 boards, so I can waste all my energy, correct? One spade first seed. I've got three good honors, two doubletons. So this hand is a maximum, although it's not an ace. But I expect partner might have a shortness in diamonds, then then my hand is nuts. So let's uh, bid up one ensued. Partner shows 5-4. Um, yeah, I feel like if not now, then never. See, singleton diamond, three clubs, I can cross rough the hand. Just perfect. And it's only 13 opposite 10. But all good, all good values. I need two roughs, and maybe I will establish my diamonds. So I can play two rounds of trumps. Three rounds can be tricky but I have entries and I can establish those um, okay I have 
top ones. So if I cash three rounds, then get a club rough, diamond rough. I can start roughing high. They still have an aid. Okay, if I play the king of clubs, king of hearts, hearts, discard the club, club rough small, second round, cross there, catch the third round of hearts, and rough high. It's probably the best. No, then they can uh, rough. No, I think that's fine. Ooh, another over trick. How to play the safest. They duck because the ace is third, I guess. East over call with five clubs. Maybe I can play reverse dummy. I can rough the diamond, cross with the club, and rough another diamond. I think I'm going to do that. Because then I can discard one. Okay, and this is this is cool. This seems to be the best. Now even if the Trump splits badly, I will be fine. Okay, at least see if you take a little bit more time, look from a different angle because I was desperately trying to figure it out from the long trumps, which is a standard procedure. Uh, when you are playing trumps, look at the side with long trumps, try to identify the losers and try to rough them, discard them. Uh, but sometimes, and this is quite rare, you can play the reverse dummy, uh, which means it's not always the dummy, but this reverse dummy means that you actually make your shorter side of trumps longer, so you shorten yourself more times. And this is rare because you need enough entries, uh, you also need enough trumps to draw them later, and you need a side suit to establish. So quite a, a lot of conditions uh, that's why it's quite rare plus four because people were more like not reaching it than going down we always have ten tricks so it's fine Arjun would have made four clubs uh, was the reason we definitely don't want to play in a slam uh, with like secondary honors if I have the ace of clubs instead of the king, maybe, but don't do that with no ace. That's simply, simply bad. You don't want to fish for a slam or tell opponents more than necessary. Okay, 15 count, 4 honors, but look at those middle cards. They can be useful, but they uh, might be not. Uh, it's all depending if opponents have a fit and if they have shortnesses because then my secondary values are useless but in no trumps or if opponents are balanced now the jack 10 9 in diamonds the 10 of clubs the 10 of spades they can all be very crucial yet i don't have a stopper i have to double here and i have to take out double for the second time okay that's it I don't like to lead a club, but let's have a look in the dummy. I want to get an attitude signal. Five. I don't know what five is, but I don't want to play the club. I just want to wait for my honors. Potentially. Okay, this is this is actually quite perfect because now I can escape with the diamond. It's relatively safe. Okay. They're in three hearts only, right? It looks like they are going down. Now I can cash my 
final winner down one that's what you want to see push opponents third level beat them by one trick collect four or five imps next board see partner has garbage but we have two spades three clubs all good contracts c plus five big difference plus hundred instead of minus hundred and ten six seven imps difference depending on the over tricks but also the defense was important well a pretty good start at imps for me but i didn't have a good run in match points so one out of two should be good but we are not yet in the middle 12 count this is a terrible hand 2 plus 1 2 plus 2 uh, I want to declare everything from partner's hand so I just pass hope partner open a major but right now um, I'm going to invite I really need a maximum okay partner has a maximum it's vulnerable so we should be good Okay, singleton there, 4 for 4 one I hope to score 4 spade tricks, 2 hard tricks is the minimum, that's 6, 7, 8, and a club trick. But I have troubles with entries. Okay, I definitely duck this one, because I need, okay, now I have an extra entry and sure tricks. I have time this with those clubs. So I will play one round of clubs. Yeah, he didn't cover. They often cover with the 10. So I'm going to play the jack. Okay. I've got trick number nine. Okay, and this is giving me trick number 10. Perfect. Period. From 8, it's 9. From 9, it's 10. Everybody's happy. No effort. Plus 8 imps. The biggest swing so far for a laydown game. But maybe that's because I passed and they defend, defend it differently. Because if they lead a diamond, I'm actually in troubles. So people who went down, and there were like not that many. But still, because it's vulnerable, it's a big difference. Kevin! Five clubs. Because North is afraid of diamonds. Got it. And now they let a diamond. No, they still let a spade. Oh, win with the ace? Okay. I don't want to have a look. How you go down from free no. 16 counts, two stoppers, we're vulnerable, which is good and bad, being in imps. But I just want to show that I'm stronger than the opener. We still have a chance to bid a game. Although those queens, not good. See, I was in the bidding, refreshed. And suddenly we've got a lead. Interesting. This is probably from Queen. Um, from Honor 10. Yeah, well, they're going to cash it anyway. So 3, 4, 5, 6. Maybe it's not from Honor 10. I'm going to win, but I'm not quite convinced that it was a good thing to do. Okay. Still two entries. I like the six of spades. I like kind of the jack, because now the nine might be a stopper. to play it yeah but now 
So I have to keep those diamonds. I have to keep those hearts. Oh, this is not going well. Uh, I think I have no chance here. So I cash out. Didn't matter if I duck or not, they can always finesse my Jack of Spades. So they have three, six, they've got seven tricks from top. I've got six tricks. Fair and square, get an imp for an average. That's good. Okay, 16 count, but five top honors. Yes, it's four triple three, but it's five honors. Although it's kings, not aces, I treat it as a maximum, especially if partner transfers. Yeah, so the free fourth best. So I can play the eight and finesse out of the jag or ten. Maybe the eight becomes a winner. The trouble suit is diamonds. I have communication in clubs. And I want to work on spades and hearts. Hearts are slightly better. Nine. Eight. So somebody has Ace Jack nine fourth, and I feel it's West because East will be not that stupid to discard an eight from Ace Jack eight small. Anyway, I don't mind if West gets to the trick. Because he will either give me a diamond trick. And I'm in one no, right? So they've got two aces, two hearts if I lose the jack. That's three. And potentially only three diamonds. Two plus... 3 is 5, spade is 6. Actually, I think I'm going to steal a spade trick here. Because that feels safer. 5 and a 2. Can also play a low heart here. Maybe he just plays a low heart. Okay, here we go. That's the trick number seven. So I'm cashing out. They don't lead third best against no trumps, so this is a safe, safe trick. And by all circumstances, I don't want to establish the hard. Yeah, they have the dominant and the ace, yeah. Okay, it didn't matter. I'm, I'm okay that I just made, although it looked way better. Hearts position was bad. They gave me a club trick. If they lead diamonds, I'm going down, because they split 5-3. Plus two imps, happy. Three boards to go. It would be nice to get one more swing. 10 count, 5 cards, but if we have a fit, we should identify losers. And the losers are in lengths and aces and kings in reds. So 2, 4, 5, 6 plus 1 with primary. 6 plus 1, what does that mean? If partner has 3 plus 1, 
which is a minimum of the opening. 2 plus 2, 3 plus 0. Okay, 3 plus 1 is a little bit extra. Uh, so if we have 3 plus 1, we should have a game, or we definitely want to be in. So I'm trying to invite here. Partner shows the maximum, but without free card spades. Now the club suit can provide tricks. So I'm going to accept the invitation, but I know it's tied. Okay, hopefully four, five, six, seven, eight. It's only eight. So it's fourth best. And they're going to get those tricks. So what I need is to finesse the diamonds. They will get three hard tricks and a diamond. That's my best chance. You don't have tempo to establish spades because if opponents get three hearts and two spades, you don't have time. I like the two because either the jack drops, but with two four they split either three three or four one. Okay, they didn't cover. Yeah, but now I potentially can go many down. If I finish the diamond. Also, the queen might drop. West play the three of diamonds, so if he plays the two. He can have queen fourth or four small. If I duck here, they cash the hearts. Can't duck. I probably prefer to cash the clubs because then I might not get anything, and maybe they will help me with the diamond discard. Now we know they split. Okay, I can dump the spade as well. No diamond discard. Yeah, this is what I didn't want to see. Would you cover with the fourth queen? I would not. So four small with west or queen jack third with east, then I have to play from top. Fourth queen, third jack on the other side. Original probability, uh, I guess, is higher for one honor in front. So I will go. I'm going to finesse. Yes. Okay. This will be a huge swing, because first of all I reached the game, and second of all I made it. So I think this will be over ten. This must be over ten. Okay, but uh, they're left with a spade, yeah. Okie doke, give me 11, 12, 11, yay! Finally, finally I guessed something correctly. See, we have only two no, but they gave me the heart trick, guess, because the ace is behind. They gave me the heart trick, and the diamond position is that even if West covers the queen, I can play from top to drop the jack. So, and club split. I knew I needed too much, but C partner had 4-0 four, four with aces and kings, and that's the difference. But if partner had three spades, uh, four spades should be quite an easy contract. Ten count, three queens, not good. One plus three. Right now, we can have a game if partner has long diamonds, but our hand doesn't provide tempo. I'm okay to play from the full card, because maybe they will lead an honor and I can have two stoppers. So I'm okay to position my hand like this way. And right now, I think this is period. What would double be? 9-10 non-forcing, but I 
partner can have well even potentially two spades we don't know if he has one he most likely has five diamonds four hearts three clubs so we don't have a fit uh, when you don't have a fit opponents are vulnerable try to beat them okay I won the promotion because the jack of spades is in the dummy and we have nothing better to play. We can steal two hard tricks actually. But I'm okay to play this. Okay, I'm over a thing. Because this is a cheap trick. And I want to play my hard. So partner will have the ace of spades. So I actually need one more promotion there. Based on honor count, partner has the ace of hearts. Ace, sorry, king, jack, and diamonds. That's eight. So he must have the ace. And it's singleton. So now he can play the diamond, please. Or maybe cash. Okay, diamond, perfect. Wait, do I do I actually over off? I over off and play a trump back. Because then I still get the club. Partner has the ace and he has an escape. So I think we should score if I over off here. It's trick number five. Ace of hearts is six. But maybe we can get seven. Okay, he didn't make a mistake. And now I've got the no uh, partner had the club. Okay, so it didn't matter. But down one, I think it's fine. It's a plus score, and plus score generates plus scores. So let's have a look how many M's I need. Free for Picarek. I mean, he is he's incredible, and Bimalsen here. That's a new guy. Bimalsen Kolkata. Okay, so that's not a new guy. We know Kolkata. It's just uh, changing the flag, but we know the Kolkata thing. Forty-eight. That's huge. But maybe I get a swing. And I will reach it as well. But whenever you see a new, a new nickname, it's either a lot of luck, which can happen. Ten boards is not much, so you can just hit the jackpots. Ten boards is not that much. Or we know the rest. Okay, free card fit, free good honors, and a doubleton. So we are going to play a game. The slam, uh, hard to say. So I'm just going to bid two no trumps because that's my style here and trace three spades to four spades because that's what we do with ace, king, ace and a doubleton we want to be in a game. Okay, jack means that we're going to lose a diamond. Hard doubleton is useless. So we're going to lose a spade, hard club and a diamond. My only chance it's actually not to lose the hard. I like the two because they're split free two. So this is a lead from a doubleton. So my only chance is that I discard the hard on a club. Doesn't look like. Yeah, pity. I have to play from top. Yeah. Mm. Okay, they roughed my loser. Now they could play a club. No, they finally played the hard. Uh, but club. 
club doesn't really help at least I draw the trumps go down one but that's life I'm going to lose on the last board but pardon has really a minimum because the queen of clubs doubleton didn't have a single value my doubleton heart didn't have a value just switch hearts and diamonds and this should be an easy game I mean the length pity could I have end played them maybe maybe I could try to end play east but he has the third round of trumps so I cannot end play him minus two it's fine three no trumps for eight players three no trumps uh, not bad So who's got who's got it? Why don't I see the top eight? Okay, now I get to the top eight. Yeah, well done guys for reaching free no. That worked. Anyway, I'm super happy with my thirty seven. Finally, I had a really good run, and that's what you can find from the list, that only the last board, uh, which was, I believe, pretty standard to reach a game there, uh, with no chance of making, losing only two imps. It was a perfect run, and I got lucky with my steal on board number eight, and board number five uh, was a bit strange that I got too much but look one two three three big swings for free no trumps and the last board was also a big swing for free no trumps and this is a learning curve that uh, probably here on fun bridge free no trumps pays off okay well let's have a look on the ranking crawling that imp and then Johan also here so the friends list is pretty tight two three four five great scores gentlemen because we don't have a lady at the top uh, but Roxy here at the top 22 well done Roxy okay Peter here Evo plus is good and I don't want to dick in the minus so take care guys enjoy the weekend see you on Tuesday with the match point tournaments now there are plenty of other tournaments so I'm very uh, happy and glad that uh, you still play mine take care